Hey everybody, Vaughn Reynolds with I'm a Social Gamer, and I'm going to be doing my first live unboxing of The Estates by Capstone Games. This is a Kickstarter that just came in the other day. Hey everybody coming in, how's it going? It's a very cool game, very excited to open this one. Um, I think they've released most of their games normally uh, through distribution to retail and this was their first Kickstarter. I hope it's, I hope that's right. Let me see if I can wave without making my screen too wobbly. There we go, wave back. And uh, came very well packaged in a nice box with, with uh, paper stuffing which I'm a huge fan of which is environmentally friendly. I hate when I get um, games in with, you know, like the styrofoam peanuts and things like that. Anyway, let's get on to the opening of this. So if you are ever shipping a game, do your best to keep it nice for the environment. I appreciate it, and so do others. This is a game that takes 40 minutes, ages 10 and up for two to five players. If I recall correctly, I should have done my homework before doing this, but I actually just walked in the house. Is uh, It's a tableau builder with dice, I think. I don't know. That was a weird sound. Okay, so that's a cool slip that the box has. This is the actual cover. It's a bidding and building game by Klaus Zock. The artwork is super cool. This game is extremely clean. Okay. Put this over here. Oh, yes, I do remember this game. Okay, so there's like a bidding system with the buildings of different values. And it's quite competitive. It's like a nice bag full of all the different colors. Open that one up real quick. They have green and purple, which is good because these are my wife's and I's favorite colors. So a game is winning when it has these as options. So these are the little buildings that you can build. Oh, cool, and each color has different patterns. You see, red has the slots. This one is vertical or horizontal, depending on how you orient it. That's cool. I have a nice lattice pattern. I'm using all these words I don't understand. Oh, and there's something else in here too. Looks like we have a top hat. Nice. The Monopoly, oh, that's, the Monopoly guy would be proud. Let's take it out of the bag so it's easier to focus on less glare. Boop, boop, boop. Nice wooden components. And that's a cute little top hat. That's cool. Maybe that's for the active player or the first player. And then we have some other numbered tiles here. These are all nice, heavy wooden tiles. And then these look like roadblocks, like cement roadblocks. Of some type. That's cool. Let's open that one up. Nice. You have one, two, and three. But yeah, you can hear the nice wooden components. Very durable. Skyline Capital. Little business cards. Emerald Properties Estates. I apologize, I'm focusing for the glare. That's cool. Let's open this and see. I want to open it, but I don't want to wreck the inside. Oh, of course, it just tore the outside. Oh, here we go. See, there's a little tab. When you get your copy in, there's a little tab there. Don't be like me. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. That's cool, little ownership cards. Oh, for the colors. Oh, that's cute. So I'll be playing Emerald Properties, and my wife will be, my wife will be Heather Equity. Golden Realty. That's fun. Those are cool. Those are for the player. Let's see your little business cards. It's funny. These are better designed than some people's business cards that I've seen. Whoops. Nice bags. Bid and build. Nice heavy cloth. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, yeah, it's a very nice top hat. I like it too. Thanks for joining. Send some waves back. Ooh. If only that was real. Paul Schwartz. 
construction loans. That's cool. These are super heavy. I'm not going to open these right now. Only because it's so well sealed and, you know, that tight edge around here. I'm just going to pick this off, but I want to make sure I'm not clawing the actual cards apart. Good quality. It's very heavy. Let me see. See, that's pretty, pretty solid cards right there. That's really good quality stock. We have a nice rule book here with a little... Let's see. Oh, nice. Certificate. That's cool. That's a nice touch from Kickstarter. I like that a lot. That's a very cool idea. If you're making a game and you want to remind the Kickstarter backers that they were part of it, you can actually put their backer number on there, which is very, very cool. Nice touch, guys. I like that. Okay, here's the rule book. Nice high quality gloss. Very good clean design. Shows you how to do setup and everything. Very visual. That's cool. Nice clean. That's one of the things that drew me to this initially. Oh, that's super cool. You see the thing that's nice here is it's watercolor art, but then they make it really clean with the graphic design. Hey, Capstone, what's up, guys? Is this clay running the Capstone on right now? If it is, say, yo. If it's not, identify yourself. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so the thing that initially drew me to this game was the clean design, because I'm an artist myself. So um, when I saw the watercolor design, uh, using the clean graphics with it, that's like the uh, bulldozer image. Ah, it's, in, it's on the cover. Uh, that's what drew my attention to this initially. Very, very clean design. I agree. Uh, spiel, spieling with it. That is top-notch all around. This is a board. Nice, high-quality cardboard. Very thick, which is good. And you see, there's an important thing when you get a game that has a board that folds like this. One thing I really, really hate is when you lay it flat and it stands up a little bit. But this one has a nice space in the middle. So when it lays flat, it, well, it's not going to do it on the box. But when it lays flat, you see that it's actually flat, which is a huge thing in my book. That's where the buildings go. Very cool. Little top hat spots there. Very nice design all around. And we have... The back of the box. Custom wooden components. Very cool. Remember this is from Capstone. Oops, sorry, it's not zooming in. I wonder if we get close. There we go. Capstone Games. You can follow them. Go to their website. Follow them on Twitter. Check them out on Facebook. And they're here on Instagram. You can find them in the... Com they, uh, they commented on the video. And then you can also find them in my most recent post. Clay Ross, that's the uh, gentleman. Will it zoom in on this? Come on, camera. No. Whoa. Okay, Clay Ross. It's spelled like it sounds. There you can see it there, but it's kind of far away. Very cool. All around, big win for this one. Beautiful compo components, and you can play this game over and over, which is nice. Big fan of that. Thanks, everyone, for coming out, and hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.